I do Drupal because it was much better than what I was working on before. It's more I accidentally stumbled across it, started working in it, and realized I was never going back. I was a little bit nervous, but to feel very welcome right away, I feel encouraged and, and, and again, empowered to speak was, was very exciting for me. I had no idea that thousands of people would travel thousands of miles to come to this to this thing and contribute and not get paid for speaking and, and just do it because they're enthusiastic about the community. I had just gotten my first Drupal job. I was figuring things out. I had no idea how to contribute or who the other contributors were. And it turns out it was WebChick hanging out in a hotel lobby. <laughs> That was a very pleasant surprise. Made some friends, realized what a wealth of knowledge there was around and how people help each other and how that, the community clicked for me at that point. I understood what, what they were talking about. I talk a lot about that you can't be what you can't see and so for our students to see you know, thousands of people attending a conference and you know, some of whom look like them is, is a powerful thing and to be able to continue to expose the young people that I work with to Drupal and to this community I think will be important moving forward. You know, there's a lot of conversation this year around inclusion and I think having a more diverse group of speakers is going to help bring us a more diverse Drupal community and make everybody feel more included and more represented and therefore become more participatory and it's going to increase contributions. And For me, uh, DrupalCon is the amazing thing. If you are Drupal, you should be here because it's like your journey in Drupal and all the work you do and you meet people, all the people you are working remotely and contributing in, on Drupal.org. So it's the one place where everyone should be doing. It's like a life experience, I would say. So it is like, come for the code, stay for the community, absolutely resonates with me because that's exactly how it happened. All right, hello, DrupalCon. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here at what I've traditionally called the closing session, but David wanted to call the closing ceremonies. We couldn't afford the guitar savant from Korea, so you've just got you, Amanda, and I. My name is David Wong. Actually, no, before I even introduce myself, thank you to Ryan Price. Where are you, Ryan? For the snippet of audio and in the interviews in, in the beginning. Thanks, Ryan. I'm David Wong, unemployed Drupaler at large, and this is... I'm Amanda, I work for the Drupal Association and help the team that plans this DrupalCon. So, we are your hosts tonight, or this afternoon, for the closing ceremonies, or as I've been calling it, the post-note, to contrast with the pre-note, much less singing in this one. Um, or if you'd like, the post-it note. We'll see if this one sticks. Uh, dad jokes. Yeah. Dad jokes, dad jokes. <laughs> we, tr we tried, but yeah. they, didn't, they didn't stick. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have an Aaron Winborn Award, we're gonna have some thank yous, and then we're gonna talk about what's next. And there might be a surprise or two, so you wanna stay to the end. And I mean like the very, very end. So if you leave early, you're gonna miss out, I promise. You will be sad. So, so without further ado, let's, oh. oh. Well, one thing, security, we gotta do business first. If you haven't updated your Drupal website in recent days, update it now, and like right now, as soon as possible. More details at drupal.org slash security. Thanks to the security team for the alert and the updates. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we'd like to recognize someone. We're going to bring up our community working group who is going to present the Aaron Winborn Award. Let's give them a round of applause. Hi there, oh there's the mic. Pull up my notes here. Hi there, uh, my name is George Demet. I'm the uh, chair of the Drupal Community Working Group. Uh, I'm here with uh, fellow, there she is, uh, working group member, uh, Jordana Fung. Our group also includes uh, Mike Anello, Adam Hill, and Emma Carianis. So we're a group of volunteers whose job it is to uphold the Drupal Code of Conduct and to help support and maintain a friendly and welcoming community for the Drupal Project. And we're here today to give out this year's Aaron Winborn Award, which is named after a longtime Drupal contributor who lost his battle with ALS in 2015. This award recognizes an individual who displays above and beyond personal integrity, kindness, and commitment to the Drupal project and community. The community working group accepts nominations from the community and votes on them as a group along with past award winners. 
So this year's winner is someone whose contributions have helped spread knowledge, understanding, and awareness of Drupal around the world. Kevin Thole. Come on up, Kevin. So over the last five years, Kevin has personally overseen the recording of more than 800 session videos at dozens of Drupal camps across North America, generously donating his time to provide countless camp organizers with the tools and training that they need to be able to get their sessions recorded and online, often within hours of the event. The impact of this work cannot be overstated as it enables people from local communities around the world to learn more about Drupal and to feel more connected to its global contributor community. As one of the people who nominated Kevin put it, he has contributed to the community as a whole by making all these recordings available for us to learn and advance our careers. Kevin is also one of the uh, lead organizers of MidCamp and has been an active leader in the Chicago Drupal community for years. Several of the people who nominate him also cited his kindness, his patience, and his generosity. It is for all of these reasons that we are proud to give him the 2018 Aaron Winborn Award. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, first, I want to a big shout out to Jim Birch for the uh, very broadly shared and, and well worded uh, nomination. Appreciate that. Also, want to apologize for everyone who I've given some classic misdirection to. Um, it's true that I did not attend Con this year. It's true it's because I was working my own work conference, which just finished yesterday. And so I've been trying to maintain a low profile since I landed last night so as not to spoil the surprise. Um, I'm fortunate that even though where I work, we don't do Drupal and we have nothing to do with Drupal, but I do get uh, the ability to go to these, all of these camps and to record them and treat those as remote days. So there's that. Um, people ask me why I do this. So when I first got into Drupal about 10 years ago, I learned so much from the posted videos. So around 2013, when Drupal Camp Fox Valley had their first camp and I was one of the organizers, it was an assumption of mine that we would record sessions because I'd do that for my work conference, so I would do that for camps. It was crazy, it was, it was a terrible process, and ironically, a lot of the organizers were like, why are you doing this? You're spending so much time and no one's gonna watch them. I looked last night, Drupal Camp, Drupal Camp Fox Valley for the two years has 10,000 views of those videos. Um, so, you know, fast forward to today, I've now, I've recorded 26 camps, 818 videos have been uploaded, a little over 19,000 views in total. So it's pretty cool to see how this has grown more than I would have thought. Um, Mauricio Dinarte, he's, he kind of tailed me for a while and learned the system and now he's recording in Nicaragua. Someone I met in St. Louis, he's using the same equipment to record in Drupal Camp Antwerp. And then just this February, I shipped kits to uh, Pacific Northwest Drupal Summit. So excited to see how this thing grows. And um, if you've seen me, you've probably heard, don't forget to hit the big red button. Um, so thank you and I'll see you guys at camp. All right, congratulations, Kevin. More thank yous. We have a lot of thank yous to give out. A lot of people deserving of thanks here, starting with, there's no DrupalCon without all our volunteers. So many of you out there are volunteers in some way, and we'd like to recognize you now. So get your hands ready. We're gonna start first with our speakers. We had over 250 speakers at this DrupalCon in 198 sessions. That's a lot of amazing people making this DrupalCon possible. So if you spoke in a session, would you please stand up for some recognition? Thank you.
our summit leaders. On Monday, we had summits that were led also by volunteers, um, named here. If you were a summit leader, please stand. <laughs> Good job, Sally. Good job. Our program team. This one's very near and dear to my heart. This eye chart of names here are all the volunteers that worked to sort, classify, rank, select, recruit, contact, nudge, pester, bug, show me your darn slides already, for the last four months for over 900 submit submitted sessions. These folks, many of them working on the team for the very first time. Um, this is definitely, definitely hard work. And I, being on this team, am especially proud of what we've done this year. Um, if you were on the program team, please stand. We also have an amazing group of people who have been working for months and have been working at this con and will continue to work tomorrow to make contribution possible. So there's a list of people here that we'd like also to stand up for recognition. Next slide, thank you. If you are a sprint lead, can you go ahead and please stand up? We also have a plethora of on-site volunteers from before the con even started, stuffing badges, helping with so many things to put up signs, room monitors. There's probably a volunteer right now counting how many people are in this session, so thank you. Um, so if you volunteered in any way on-site for this con, please also stand up. We'd also like to thank you, our attendee community, many of whom had to pay out of pocket to come here to attend DrupalCon, to get training, to meet the community, to see your peers. Thank you for coming to DrupalCon. And without you, she and I are just talking to an empty room, which is less fun. <laughs> One more thing, I'm totally going off script here, and she doesn't know this. Um, I've been on the program team for about four years now, and the last, I think, six DrupalCons have been managed by Amanda, who is the little person with the megaphone who's yelling at you to get in the frame but she's also doing all sorts of things. She, this woman doesn't sleep during DrupalCon. She works tirelessly day and night to get this thing, to get this to happen. If anything's wrong, if there's no water, if the power goes out or somebody falls ill, she's the one who takes care of it. I know she's not a volunteer because she does get paid, unlike me. So, but I, at least for me, and I think for many of you here, there wouldn't be any DrupalCon without you, so thank you. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm going to try and be... <laughs> we'll be funny now. Jazzy, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my gosh. One last thing. Oh. Yeah. Uh... I'll do it. I'll yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. There's an event survey on the website that we would really, really appreciate if you filled out. It helps us understand what worked, what didn't work at DrupalCon, what we could do better, what would you like to see more of, how we could change to improve things. Um, and this year, we have an extra little twist to this. We'll be giving away free tickets to the next DrupalCon for five lucky survey filler outers. So you want to be that person. So please, contribute to our survey. Thank you. So what's next? That's what, that's what people wanted. Yeah, to. I'm sorry for throwing you off your game. No, uh, I'm, I'm back on my game. I just right, needed a few right. seconds. <laughs> so, there's trivia tonight, 9 p.m. at City Winery. You definitely want to go to trivia if you've never been to trivia before. And if you've won trivia multiple times, it's time to retire. But <laughs> if you have, if you are a newbie, do not be intimidated by going to trivia. It's not all deep questions about the theme layer, I promise. There are, there's every reason for new people to go, and you're in fact the key to winning, so. New people are worth extra points. Yeah, so you, you <laughs> should go. If you're new, go to Trivia and unseat some incumbent team and get the oldies out of there. Doors are at eight, and the serious Trivia starts at nine, so make sure you get there early, get a team, get a table, and get ready. So. We hope that you have an amazing time at Trivia, but we also hope that you can come back tomorrow at 9 in the morning for sprints. And that amazing group of people that we told you about who have been working tirelessly to make this happen, we're going to have them come up here and tell you how you can contribute tomorrow. So let's welcome them up.
Hello, everyone. We hope you've had a wonderful week at DrupalCon. And it's not over yet. We've got one more day. And we like to think that this whole week is actually, it's about learning, right? And you do a whole lot of watching and sort of internalizing all of this stuff and these tons of sessions. And then tomorrow, you get to put it to use. And this team and there are many other mentors out there will be there to help you out and do that in the morning. So we've got a first timers workshop, first thing, 9 a.m. That'll get you set up with the tools. And then you can just come over to the mentored sprint room after that and we'll be working on all kinds of issues. We really do have something for everyone. So whether you are front end, back end, like client, project manager, marketer, whoever, we will find something for you to do. So with that, um, uh, hello. Um, you don't need to be a hardcore PHP de developer to be able to have meaningful, meaningful contributions in Drupal. We will have tasks for everyone, and you don't need to code either. Like you can be helping with documentation, with user testing, with manual testing, and issue so many updates. There are so many things that you can do without having to write a single line of code. But if you want to write code, there will be also opportunities to do that. So. This can be a memorable experience, and it has been for many of us, uh, like the highlight of DrupalCon. So we invite you to come over and help the project move forward. And lastly, I would like to extend an invitation on behalf of myself and the whole mentoring team for um, individuals of underrepresented and marginalized communities to come to the sprints. Um, we know there are sometimes additional barriers, and sometimes it's not. Um, easy to come into a room where you don't look or think like other people there. So please come. If you need extra support or just a hug or anything, I will be there. My name is Tara, and I hope to see you all there. All right. All right, so we hope to see you tomorrow. I will be there uh, still with a smile, but walking a lot slower. Um. So the real reason everybody's here, let's talk about what happens beyond Nashville. But first, have you heard about DrupalCal.org? Uh, DrupalCal.org is the uh, world's largest repository of upcoming Drupal event information. Um, anything from Drupal camps to local meetups, you're probably gonna find it in DrupalCal. So, uh, so you don't have to wait for these post notes uh, anymore. You can get your information here um, for local events if you're looking for something closer to you to fill that Drupal itch for the next year. We also are not having a DrupalCon in Europe this year, but the incredible community in Europe is putting together Drupal Europe, and this will take place um, September 10th through 14th. You probably have already heard about it. I know they've been handing out lots of stickers and drumming up a lot of excitement. It's going to be held in? Darmstadt, Germany. I can't say that, but I wanted to make sure it was said correctly. So. <laughs> so make sure to check that out or find someone tomorrow at Sprints to get more information. Okay, the real, real reason we're here. Well, let's talk about the next DrupalCon. Well, what did you like about this DrupalCon? Um, it was snowy on Saturday, but much better today. And uh, you know, we've been going to a lot of DrupalCons that have been in geographically inert areas. You know, I would like to go somewhere a little more tectonically active. Um, you know, okay. for next year for DrupalCon 2019, um, an active volcano might be cool. This or is maybe a dormant one, but ready to blow at any minute. That's probably the best. It's quite an ask, David. Um, I really liked a lot of the music here, so I'm really hoping that the next DrupalCon has a place that has a lot of music. Yeah, music and volcanoes. Hmm. Uh, where can we find I think we like do that? have someone who might be able to help us figure it out. Chris, can you come on up? Chris Teitzel, everyone. He's gonna help us figure out some possible places that we could go. So Chris, we, we want volcanoes, we want music. Do you know a place that maybe has some good music? Volcanoes and music. Well, how about we go to the city that brought us Jimi Hendrix? Okay. Maybe Pearl Jam? I'll have to grow my hair out a bit more. But. Nirvana. Uh-huh. And most importantly, Kenny G. <laughs> Oh, yes, I can do without oh, yes. that one, but oh, I yes. guess oh, we yes. have to. And one of our most famous, Sir Mix a Lot. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people like to dance to that. <laughs> and our favorite thrift shop connoisseur, Macklemore. Okay, cool. But 
That's a lot of rappers and grunge bands. How about technology and software? Oh, don't worry about that. We have technology covered since the early days. Trust me, we know our technology in this city. Chris, I feel like this would be a DrupalCon Seattle. It is. <laughs> the Seattle Drupal community is very excited to welcome you to our city. When you're there, we want to make sure that you take time to enjoy everything it has to offer. So be sure to get out there and ride the ferries and enjoy the views. Uh, visit the Space Needle and enjoy our landmark. You will probably be dodging some flying fish at Pike Place Market. And make sure that while you're there, you go down the street just a little bit to the first ever Starbucks. Don't worry, we have tons of microbreweries to keep you well hydrated. And it is a bike-friendly community, so you'll be you'll have plenty of transportation, so don't worry about that. However, we do get this one question a lot. Yes, it rains a lot. Um, but when you go, make sure you bring a rain jacket because the locals don't use umbrellas and you don't want to stand out. Well, that sounds fantastic. Thanks so much, Chris. We look Thanks forward for to having help. you guys. <laughs> We look forward to seeing you in Seattle. See you all in Seattle, everybody. And see you tomorrow, and see you at Sprint. But wait, wait, wait. There is one more thing. I've waited all week to say that. <laughs> I love it. Uh, in addition to DrupalCon Seattle, Drupal will be purifying itself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Because we would like to announce we will be having DrupalCon 2020 in Minneapolis as well. Hey, thanks a lot. We're super excited to welcome you all to our city of Minneapolis. Yeah. We know, we know some of you might have questions like, uh, where is Minneapolis? <laughs> I can answer that one, Dan. It's up north. Yeah, just head up from Chicago, and if you get to Canada, you've gone too far. You also might think, Minnesota, Minneapolis, is that cold? No. 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 Not in May. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? Oh, there we go. Yep, we have uh, 10,000 lakes. Here's just one of them in the city. We like to kayak to work every morning. Uh, you might ask, does Minneapolis, do we Drupal? Yes, we have an incredible local community uh, with active meetups every month since 2000, well, for the last 12 years. And uh, we have an amazing camp, Twin Cities Drupal Camp, that we've been running since 2011. All right, and can I get a quick shout out? Anyone who's been to Twin Cities Drupal Camp? <laughs> All right. Okay, so head north. It's warm, there's lots of Drupal, but is it any fun? You betcha! Just watch! All right.
Thank you. Look forward to seeing you there. So to review, because this is a lot of information at once, we don't want anybody going to the wrong place at the wrong year where you're going to be spending your weekend on Matthew Tiff's couch. DrupalCon Seattle is next year, April 8th to 12th. And then DrupalCon 2020 is in Minneapolis, May 18th to 22nd, when it's warm. <laughs> and now, we're really done, for real. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. See you tonight. See you tomorrow.